Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is a John Deere 310 SG. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. If you buy this tractor from me or any of my other machines, you're going to be dealing with a guy by the name of Pro Provencio. He's my operations manager. Uh, the serial number of this machine is... Uh, Full serial number is T0310S like Sam, G like good, 89828. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. <coughs> Price on a new machine like this, uh, equipped like it is these days, is probably 115, 120,000. I don't know. This machine only has uh, 2,740 hours on it. Uh, it weighs 13,500 pounds. The widest point is this bucket right here at uh, 7 foot 7 inches. Highest point is the top of that cab up there, which is uh, 9 foot 4 inches. The transportation length from the front of that cutting edge all the way to the end of that boom when it's sucked in and transport profile is uh, 23 foot 6 inches. Comparable machines are like a Cat 416, uh, maybe a Komatsu WB140, or maybe a, a New Holland LB70. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost all the machines we purchased, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because it's essentially a rust-free machine. You'll see where this work equipment has um, the paint's flicked off and the rainwater's gotten to it, but this uh, machine in no way, shape, or form is uh, rust pervasive. We're far enough south and we're 300 miles from the ocean, so the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen table. Uh, every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large contractors and municipalities that we deal with here in the Metroplex. Uh, before we buy any machine, Pro, Pro Provencio goes out and personally inspects them. And if uh, he gives me a thumbs up and says everything's good on it, then I go out and I inspect it before I write a check, provided the money's okay. As uh, you can see, as far as options go, this is an extend a hole machine. This uh, gives you about three and a half foot more of uh, boom. Um, you've got a 12 volt outlet in the cab. Uh, the, the engine is a John Deere 4045T. It's a turbo engine. You can see the turbo right there. This is essentially the same engine that uh, John Deere has used in their backhoes for many, many years. It's a uh, tried and true engine and uh, it's bulletproof. It's a 91 gross horsepower engine. <coughs> the fuel tank is a 36 gallon fuel tank. Here's your fuel tank right here. 36 gallons. It'll run you anywhere from 12 to 16 hours depending on operation. Uh, the um, You've got a gear type hydraulic pump, which is one of the most uh, reliable. Transmission runs through all the gears without any hesitation. Top speed on this tractor in forward and reverse is 21 miles an hour. This is a two wheel drive machine. All of the tires are, are in pretty good shape. The mud's kind of got them uh, These tires in the front and the front are probably about 85% as well as the tires in the back. They're 19.5 L24s in the front and these in the back, and the, I'm sorry, in the back are, these in the front are 11 L-16s. Everything works on this tractor. This cutting edge here is about 85%. Uh, 
It's never been turned. The teeth in the back are about 100 percent the brand new teeth. All of the pins and the bushings are relatively tight or are tight on this machine. There's no kind of deflection or any kind of problem in that king pin area. All the pins and the bushings are tight. This bucket right here is a uh, is a 19 inch bucket. It's considered an 18 inch bucket, but uh, oh man, we better go inside, bro. It's gonna start raining. Okay, that bucket right there, we're gonna be uh, inside because it's raining right now, but uh, that bucket is an 18 inch bucket. It's got a 19 inch bite. Uh, the height of that bucket is three foot four inches. The depth is three foot two inches. Um, the dig depth for this machine and with the extender boom up is uh, 14 feet. With the extender boom out, it's 18 and a half feet. The maximum reach at ground level from the center of that kingpin area over there, uh, when the boom is sucked in is 18 feet. With it extended out, it's 22 feet. Maximum reach at ground level, I'm sorry, is 18 feet and 22 feet. Um, the maximum dig height is uh, 11 foot and then 14 foot for the uh, ext extended hole. Breakout force is 12,000 pounds with it in a regular, uh, Regular and then with the extended hole, it's 12,200 pounds. I think we can come out here, bro. It stopped raining. This bucket right here is seven foot seven inches wide. It's three foot tall. It's two foot four inches deep. <laughs> it's probably about a yard and a half bucket. Um, this hinge pin right here, like if you were loading into a dumpster, the maximum hinge pin height is uh, 12 and a half feet. Uh, the breakout force on this bucket is 10,200 pounds. The lifting capacity is 7,400 pounds to its highest, uh, highest point. And then it's got a cut, like if you have this all the way down, it's got a maximum dig cut of uh, six inches.
Okay, so this is the inside of the cab here. Here's your brake, transmission disconnect, accelerator, your gear shift selector. This is your front bucket controls. Here's your, all your gauges work on this thing. Uh, you can see the hour meter right there is, uh, it's got 12.3 volts. There's your horn, your lights, key switch. There's your uh, extend the hole pedal. This is for your uh, release on your boom, boom lock release. Here's your uh, controls. These are your stabilizers. Here's your RPM controls. That's pretty much it.